can have a lot of untruths in religion. But in God, it's only truth. Can you describe religion in three words? I'll use one word, love. Peace, submission, happiness. Faith in Christ. Religion is encounter, uh, light, and uh, something about our destiny. So they say encounter, light, and destiny. And systems for worship. God, only one, and Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa Send God this world. Is there a difference between God and religion? Yes. For me, it's a way of life. Religion is not just, I believe in something. I believe in something, I believe in it so much that, that I'm going to follow it. And that, and that thing that I'm going to follow is divine, divine instructions for my own benefit. So there is no, they're, they're interlinked. You can't separate one from the other. I think absolutely a huge difference. Uh, like, I, I, I'd say a lot of people have an, uh, an image of God and, and uh, it wouldn't satisfy me. Like, I couldn't believe in an old beardy guy in the clouds or a cosmic puppeteer or something like that. And uh, I actually can't form any image of, of the God I believe in, uh, short of using the, the scriptures and the person of Jesus to inform me. But when I think of God, I'm thinking of something totally other uh, and like religion is something in human that, that we do so I, I see no real uh, like they're not the same they couldn't possibly be the same thing God is like the pure pure being the perfect act of existence that's kind of I suppose to use philosophical language the height of all perfections and then religion is human attempts to, to reach out to God now, so we also have the difference in religion between natural religions uh, and, pure, and uh, revealed religion. And revealed religions believe that God has reached out and spoken to, to, to human beings, thus making it possible to ascend to the height, if, you're, if, if we use that language, even though it's not like physical ascent, it's more of a, a, a spiritual ascent. Well, if you consider God to be the, the destination, Right, and the way to God being religion. There's a difference between the way and the destination. There's a difference between the path and the palace. The aspect of religion I'm most interested in is mysticism. Mysticism, mysticism is, goes beyond, beyond the intellect, beyond the beyond thinking and rational mind, mind. To, 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 a to a consciousness where everything is one. Do you think that we need religion today? Yes, I do, actually. I think, um, I think mankind has always needed something that makes the world make sense. Well, so, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know, religion, if it's good, teaches good. If people are taught from an early age bad things, or taught that doing evil things are normal, they'll develop that. People is not religious people for killing, fighting, and bad everything. No religious people, no good. I would certainly think so, yes. Uh, for me personally, on a personal level, if I didn't have a religion or a spirituality, they're co closely connected now, my life would be meaningless. I'd have no meaning for any or purpose. If I taught everything just came to an end when I came to an end and it was all oblivion there'd be no purpose or meaning to anything now you could get meaning from ordinary everyday relationships would it have no profound meaning religion gives a profound meaning to things in my book do we need religion I think so yeah um, so I would make a my, my first attempt to answer that, the, whether we need religion or not, is to say uh, I think every human being 
was created to worship. Okay, and when you talk about worship, you're saying uh, placing worth on something so that it has the highest value in your life. So I think we all have that. We all have something that we place the highest value on in our lives, and our our um, our decisions and choices that we make reflect that. Whether we realize it or not, if it's our family is our highest value, well then our choices will put them first. So it's the thing we put first is really what we worship. And in the Old Testament, uh, you, you'd call that maybe like uh, it's either you're worshipping the, the one true God who created everything or you're, you, you worship something else and they would call them idols. So like in the Old Testament, uh, it, it wasn't right to give your entire heart to anything other than God. The, the, the call is you must love the Lord your God with all your heart. So I kind of translate that into, into our own situation and say, well, we have, we have organised religions, but I think everybody worships something. قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ اللَّهُ السَّمَدْ لَمْ يَالِدْ وَلَمْ يُولَدْ وَلَمْ يَكُلْ لَهُ كُهُوَ نَحَدْ Means, God one, God is no any wife, no any family, no any children, God only one. And at the essence of it all, then there's this pure universal love that holds and binds everything together. That is my view of God. We are one and we are all.